Hello. In this video, uh, we just want to cover uh, one of the important things here related to uh, configuration of UI using custom uh, sprite. Uh, we just want to show you how to use something called responsive script. So if you go to this sprite that we have here, and if you try to scale the game object, we got this sprite and it's just going to be something like that. But we have to uh, we have to do some sort of responsiveness to this sprite. So right now, you can see we got a sprite and it's okay right now, but in certain cases, you have to add some sort of responsive. Not all the time, in certain cases. So here, if you go to the sprite action, we have something called responsive. So if you search here inside the Mendoza project, we have something called responsive. So I'm just gonna change this to a way uh, to update and let you uh, see what do we mean by responsive and click play. So before you click play uh, and to uh, just work with responsive, we have to go here to main camera and drag it here, all right? And after that, click play. So this is one of the configuration of the responsive script. You click play and it just got this uh, sprite here. Notice here we change the, the, the scale of the image here of the, the sprite to be uh, here aspect ratio and we give it a aspect fraction of one so first thing we're talking about here is the X position fraction and Y position of fraction and we have X scale and Y scale here inside the aspect ratio we don't talk about X scale and Y scale we're talking about X position fraction response X, X Y position fraction and we talk about aspect fraction here if you come to the exposition fraction for example and let's say it's zero zero so when we talk about zero zero uh, the game object gonna be the pivot point of the game object which is the central point of the game object gonna be in the zero zero uh, position of the screen so the zero zero of the screen here the zero zero of the scene that we got here which is which is the left bottom corner or bottom left corner here so once you go to change that for example to five five and let me just change the aspect ratio fraction here to be 0.1 so once you go uh, once you go here I'm sorry let's just reset this once you go here for the aspect fraction and let's just resize the aspect fraction to be 0.1 and let's go to position fraction make it 0.5 times 8.5 times 0.5 so the, the game of the sprite is going to be in the center of the screen and why is that because we take uh, 0.5 because the screen size from the this location to the top here is uh, 1 by 1 so if I try to explain that for you here all right, so this point is known as zero, zero. From this point to the top here, all the way, all the way here, we're talking about one. So we have one here. And also we have one from here all the way here. Or, or let me just from here all the way here. So when I say to you, we take 0.5, all right, and here 0.5. Okay, we're talking about this from this point. You go 0.5. So we're just gonna go from the x-axis. Just gonna go here, and we talk 0.5 on the y-axis. So 0.5 is gonna be here. So if you made a line from here to here and from here to here, the position of the element is gonna be here in this. The pivot point of the game object is gonna be here. So that's why we use, for example, this sprite action for the, the normal sprite. We're not, not going to talk about, we're not talking here about UI, we're talking about sprites, uh, which is a, uh, something very, very important in 2D games. So, yeah, here is the important of the X position, Y position fraction. So, generally, in order to put an object in center of screen, we put 0.5 times 0.5. You can move, for example, here, you put 0.9 times 0.9. For example, 
So that's how you could use uh, the x position fraction and y position fraction in the aspect ratio or in the percentage. So we have something called aspect ratio, which is uh, which is working the same aspect ratio of the game object, but we change the aspect ratio fraction. So here you can just increase the size of it 0.5. It's just going to be something like that. So if you make a fraction 15, it's going to be here. So and so forth. This is the first thing which is we're talking about here aspect ratio we talk about a position fraction and y position fraction and aspect ratio fraction uh also uh notice here we have another another methods here like do translate do enable if you if you do scale uh if you untick the do scale here let's say 555 nothing gonna happen because you untick the do scale so all the time make sure that you have this scale in order to work with aspect ratio uh, we're talking about do scale so here if you don't make this do scale uh, as we did here so when you say uh, do translate you're just gonna change the position of it to 66 or let's say to 1 notice here that's, it's not gonna work because you have to do translate so when we do translate we move the object to the position that we want so you have to keep this so let me just put here 0 0.5 and we'll, uh, is enable you can use it in order to enable and disable the the aspect ratio mode okay this is the first thing we have another thing called percentage not all the time you, you just want to work with aspect ratio. sometimes you need to keep the aspect ratio and play with the scale but a lot of time you have to work with percentage so one of the features here inside the Mendoza project that you can use all the scale type uh, modes here including the percentage in order to manage your UI so let's say I just want to uh, put this uh, image in the middle screen I just want to fill the screen so in order to fill the screen you can put it increase the X scale so I just want to incre increase the X scale which is the horizontal scale to something like that and I want to increase the Y scale to be something like that so I just filled the screen so whatever whatever you go here and try minimize or maximize you all the time just gonna uh, fill the screen so it, as you can see here <laughs> Yeah, if you click here, for example, uh, we just open the dialog, as you can see. But we need to, we click there because we have an event associated with this sprite. Uh, we're just gonna execute the two functions at, at once, so which is the button function and the sprite function here. Um, yeah, so this is another thing that you have to consider here. So notice here when you uh, you make the your changes. Uh, in order to apply these changes you can go to the play mode here and choose for example aspect ratio and we need to make an aspect ratio here to be uh, let's say 20.1 and here not, uh, not aspect ratio percentage let's say 0.1 let's say 1 0.1 times 0.05 or well, let's say 0.5 times 0.1 but notice here because we're talking about uh, percentage and the screen here is uh, is landscape so the game object gonna be ta uh, just gonna take a percentage of the screen so you have to play a little bit with the scale here let's say 0.8 because we're talking about uh, scale uh, related to the screen size so this is another thing is not see when you resize or uh, change the size just gonna take the same percentage of the screen so you can uh, go here and just choose update method and after you finalize your changes uh, you can come here copy the component and exit the play mode and go delete this component and paste this component as a new component with all the values so you can do this in order to you know test the functionality of your responsive script using this great script here uh, that we have so yeah this is pretty much how to use uh, the responsive script in order to manage your UI inside of unity so I hope you just like this video guys don't forget to uh, watch us in the next lesson and the next section thank you guys a lot for watching if you uh, have any question you can post them inside the forums of this course and send me a message at my website or via Udemy so all the time you are welcome guys to uh, this course and all of our courses here are available to teach you uh, about Unity 3D development. So 
I don't think here we talk about we talking about Unity 3D, but we don't have anything called Unity 3D. The website of Unity is called Unity 3D, but the Unity is called Unity. <laughs> so that's one of the things that I just want to mention here. So anyways, guys. So see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.